I'm so excited to be here with the team today. Today is one of the days where we're really excited to ship something to the customers which we have been working on internally for quite some time. And it's actually really good. Starting today, we'll be rolling out our new feature, Train Custom Models Within ImagineR. With this feature, you'll be able to train your own products, portraits, and even styles, uh, which you can just use across different uh, prompts with consistency. Uh, and honestly, this is one of the features which we have got the most feedback from the customers that they really wanted this feature. We're really excited to ship this feature to the customers um, and uh, we really want to see you know, what you build uh, with this feature and how it empowers our creators um, to use Imagine Art at much more height. On to Seth. Uh, hi, uh, well, yes, uh, as Abdullah said, this is the most awaited feature from our users and uh, people love generating images, but what they actually want is the consistency in their uh, generation, in their styles, in the characters, and the bond they can create with the artwork, basically. And for the brands as well as the brand consistency, uh, that matters a lot. And for this, we have developed the future of training model where you can just train your um, styles, characters, and uh, even the products for the e-commerce. And uh, let me share some uh, highlights of our training. You just have to upload a bunch of images here and uh, it will start uploading and uh, you just have to, you know, uh, add some details about model name and the description and you have the categories and the model visibility as well. And uh, I have made some pre-made models for you which are uh, based on some styles. Like the, here I have trained it on the, some textures here. Let me uh, give you a demo here about Look, I just uh, wrote a prompt, a, a cat, and it has all the textures and the styles and copied it. And can you can you try with uh, some other prompt? Yeah, sure. I can write it. Uh, robot. A bot. I'm excited about seeing maybe a house made with this style. A house? Sure. A house near a lake. lake. Yeah, these are the report results. Well, that's interesting. Look, a uh, house on the lake and test all the details of the textures. Incredible, thing. Right? Yeah. And uh, let me show you another example which I've already trained on Alexa Fiona. It's a model. Um, let go, just write a prompt, a woman. Well, I'm kind of, yes. Can you yeah. generate images in different uh, genres, maybe in different outfits or something? Casual uh, photo. Walking in a park, I think. Good. It would be. A man. Girl, see. All right. Um. Yeah. Over to Movis. So uh, from a technical perspective, as you know, we have spent a lot of time building and refining our training pipelines. And obviously we have a very optimized backend so that we are able to provide our customers with just the right amount of control they need to train whatever they want. And obviously we have been through thousands of users feedback so that uh, we are able to deliver what's best for them. And yes, we will be optimizing this feature over the next few months. Amazing. This feature will be rolling out today to everyone using ImagineArt, and we cannot wait to see what you create with it. Thank you so much.